we'll head there in this video we will talk about what is port forwarding and we will talk about port forwarding on virtual box for ffh and we will open party session and from windows we will set up a set connection to the ubuntu that is running on the virtual machine and that virtual machine networking adopter is running in net mode so let's get started well let's say that you have a private network right and uh, private ip addresses are assigned to all devices on this network right? and let's say pc0 is a uh, sara's computer right and let's say that sara wants to communicate with a web server that is running somewhere here on the internet well Actually, you know that private IP addresses are non-routable IP addresses, which means that private IP addresses cannot be routed um, on the internet, and only public IP addresses can be routed on the internet. Well, if uh, Sara computer has uh, private IP addresses, then how does Sara computers will communicate with the web server that is somewhere here on the internet? And that's where net comes into play, where your net will. Uh, translate private IP address into a public IP address and the public IP address will be translated into the um, uh, private IP address right well if you are just a normal user and uh, if you just want to browse web or if you just want to uh, download files then this kind of setup is enough for you and also uh, the device on this private uh, network can initiate communication with any device on the internet but uh, the device on the internet cannot initiate communication with the device on this uh, private network because private IP addresses are non-routable IP addresses. So let's say that if you want to host a website and you want to have own a uh, web server and you also want that uh, that web server must be accessible to the to the clients on the internet then that's where port forwarding comes into play right and what actually happens in port forwarding in port forwarding your external ip address is mapped to your internal ip address and in this case internal ip address will be the ip address of this web server and uh, the external port that will be the port of this uh, router will be uh, will be mapped to the internal port that will be the port of this web server and here we assume that the external ip is static because if it is not static it can create problem and uh, also we are we are mapping external ip address to internal ip address and we are map mapping external port that is port 80 to the internal port that is also port 80 and what does it mean well it means that if someone make request at port 80 then the router basically will uh, forward that uh, that request to the web server and that's what port forwarding is now let us talk about port forwarding on virtual box for ffh right but before doing this let us talk about the networking adopter and we will do this for ubuntu and if i click on this icon right, and then i go to the network well i can see that the networking adopter is operating in net mode and what does it mean it means that uh, this virtual machine can initiate communication with any device on the internet but the device on the internet cannot initiate communication with this with, with this virtual machine and let's verify it so let us uh, ping facebook.com right well and you can see that uh, we are getting the reply it means that we are communicating with the with the device that is somewhere on the internet now let us verify that can be a uh, set a set connection to, to this ubuntu right? so let us start uh, party so we need IP address right so let's find the IP address and let's start the command uh, if and this is IP address right and of course uh, it's private IP address right and port will be 22 because I said use port 22 so let's try to uh, establish this session so it means that we cannot set uh, set up a set connection and we will try to set up this uh, a set connection using uh, port forwarding so let's do it click on settings click on network click on this advanced and click on port forwarding and click on this so that we can create a new rule and the name of this new rule is rule number one uh, you can choose any name you want and the host IP will be the local host uh, IP address on which uh, your uh, Windows is running and this will be 127.0.0.1 and host port I am choosing 22 you can choose anything you want 
and guest IP will be the IP address of the virtual machine on which Ubuntu is running right so let us go to Ubuntu and type the command ifconfig and the IP address is this one which is 10.0.2.15 and this is of course private IP address so let us type this IP address here 10.0.2.15 and the guest port will be 22 because uh, SSH use port 22 so what does this rule mean so this rule means that if someone run SSH that is secure shell client and connect to the local host at port 22 then uh, it will be forwarded to the uh, to the virtual box guest that is uh, Ubuntu in our case um, at port 22 uh, now click OK and let us try to uh, uh, set up a set connection to the Ubuntu so, so let us start a uh, party and this IP will be the host IP that is 127.0.0.1 and this port will be the host port which is 22 and it can be anything for example if you have chosen uh, five five thousand that it will be five thousand here so let us open and you can see that login is and password well you can see that we have successfully set up a set connection to the Ubuntu and you can see like you can uh, type some commands like ls if config and so on Fabish in the red Fabish virtual box and you can see here as well right so this was all about port forwarding and uh, thanks for watching